Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. Today we're doing Hall of Fame linebacker of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Derek Brooks. Now, Derek Brooks is one of the greatest linebackers ever in NFL history, and maybe the, the greatest coverage linebacker in NFL history. This actually was a request by a viewer, I, I think it was relatively recently, so uh, we are doing Derek Brooks today, but... When you talk about his career and some of the accolades he's been he's been given, I mean, eleven time Pro Bowler, he's a Hall of Fame player, five time All Pro, was part of that uh, really iconic 2002 defense of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that ended up destroying and obliterating the Oakland Raiders in the Super Bowl that year. So really, just has an incredible legacy. And in that year alone, I think he had four touchdowns on the defensive side of the football, which is kind of miraculous. Uh, for his career, has forced 24 fumbles, interception numbers, 25 total interceptions in his entire career. Um, and actually was defensive player of the year back in 2002 and also a member of the all 2000s decade team, the NFL 2000s uh, all decade team. So he's really just had an outstanding career. And when you actually place him in Madden, like the, the EA has in the past couple of years in Ultimate Team, He's just a really, really valuable player because of how great he is in coverage and his ability to both, you know, pursue a ball carrier and make the tackle. So really in Madden, you know, as a guy in terms of speed, you don't see a lot of guys like him. You can you can play him basically, uh, even if you really wanted to, you could place him as a pass rusher at times, but he's in coverage, he's phenomenal, and he's a guy that can move laterally, like almost, almost to an extent where it's not fair for... Uh, the opponent, especially if you're not using him. Sometimes there were occasions in previous years where he would just be in such great positions. Um, and using players in Madden has kind of been an issue and, and how unrealistic and how realistic it is. There has been some debate over it and, you know, how, you know, realistic it really is. But, you know, it is what it is. And, and the game is trying to be improved, obviously. Madden 18, we'll see how the user skills come in and also how the CPU AI is, is going to adapt to uh, better players as, as the year progresses. So um, that'll be an interesting thing to look out for. Don't know, obviously, if Derek Brooks will actually be in Madden NFL 18, but we will see. Now, one interesting thing I did mention earlier, he's a little bit undersized. You don't see a lot of linebackers at about six foot, you know, 230, 235, 240 pounds being as dominant as he was, both, you know, physically and in terms of speed side to side. You know, he was a guy that, you know, not only was good in coverage, but he could you know, laid the boom on people. I mean, that's why he, he forced a lot of fumbles at times. Um, so that's kind of something you really don't see that much today even when you think about the great linebackers of the game. Luke, I mean, Bobby Wagner is a guy actually that is sort of like that, but he's just not as fast um, or as quick laterally as a guy like Derek Brooks. Even though he seems like he's short, which he is, he's just not as, I think he's a little bit more built and, and, and more tight inside, kind of like Ray Lewis, how they're just so built, they can't really move um, as you know, free flowing as a guy like Derek Brooks would. At least that's in my opinion. That's kind of what I see when I watch highlights of Derek Brooks and kind of what I observe. And I'm sure what a lot of other people observe. You know what I mean? When Ray Lewis runs, it just looks like sometimes he's struggling because he's so built um, and, and kind of just everything is full focused on the center of his body. It just seems like it's sometimes difficult for him to, to get going. But uh, we're going into the equipment right here. I think I do end up putting, I thought I end up going with double wristbands. Um, okay, I, I go tape wrist heavy. He did have a, a lot of different, he had not a lot of different things, um, but NFL players in general have a tendency to switch things up um, just by a little bit, and we can't include everything to the ultimate point of authenticity that I would like to, because that's just not, you know, it's not an option in the game. You don't have all the elbow bands and everything, tape. There's just a lot of different things that are, are not in the game. Not a lot, but there are some in the game that just or there are some that are not in the game, but um, I just went with the double tape wrist, I believe, in gloves, a towel. Uh, I think sometimes he had an elbow band on that, that you just can't put on in the game, so that's kind of what I left off with, and uh, the cleats, again, a lot of the cleats in the game are really kind of modern looking, so it's tough to really emulate some of the old school, not really old school, I mean, Derek Brooks played in the 2000s, but uh, some of the older generations um, cleats and equipment it's hard to replicate everything but uh, going on into the ratings I mention this every video ratings are completely subjective you can change them as much as you would like I give them pretty high of everything in terms of coverage and, and, a, and a bunch of other stats play recognition pursuit um, and, and tackle are all going to be really high his speed is like in the high 80s I'm pretty sure I give him like a 90 acceleration so um, I give him some pretty tremendous uh, numbers right there and it's pretty well deserved to be honest with you but 
Um, that is basically going to be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorial videos. Once again, I'm, I'm, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will get to a player that you suggest me to create in the future, and he will definitely be created at some point. I need to get on some of the ones that have been suggested to me uh, for quite a while, and I just haven't gotten to them. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and yep, thanks for watching.